She's starring in the new movie opening just in time for the holidays in The Nutcracker and the Four Realms with me now, Mackenzie Foy. Hi. Hi. How's it going? This is going such good. an exciting time. I mean, I think a movie that people can enjoy and appreciate with their families for the holidays is like the ultimate get, right? Yeah, I mean, what my family and I always, lo always love to do is go to the movies during the holidays because, you, you know, after you know, cooking and all these things, you just want something to kind of just relax and enjoy enjoy something fun yeah it's perfect so what was um the first day like when you got to see all of the sets because i know that you've said that they created these worlds for mm -hmm. you guys the first day oh, it was the first day it was i believe the snowy forest oh. that was the first that i worked on and so that was like the ultimate magical moment and in the trailers you can see where there's a string and it connects to the big light up Christmas tree. That yeah. was one of the first things that we did. And it and was, was all there? It was all I there. I thought that was, I was like, wow, she deserves an Academy Award. Like, this is no, like, was, there's nothing it here. It was all there. Even the background was hand painted um, canvases. How lucky are you? Because that's not, that's pretty rare for an actor to have that. It is. It's very rare to have a set that practical. Mm. So it was just literally like the best place ever. Wow, that's so cool. What was the snow? Like, what was that? The snow. What's it I made of? I don't know exactly what it was. It wasn't not real snow. Yeah. But it was like this, this like, uh, stuff. I don't even know. But it, it had glitter in it. Oh wow! To make it sparkle. So, so were you cool. covered in glitter at the end of that day? Every, always. It always. was in the costumes and the sets all the time. So everybody was always covered in glitter. Oh, that's not the worst thing at all. <laughs> not at all. So I'm sure you'd seen the Nutcracker Ballet when you were younger, right? Yes. Yeah. And did you like it? Did you enjoy it as a kid? Yeah, I really did. Seeing it with my family when being little and just watching it and seeing just the magic mm. and all the beauty of it was just amazing and I've always loved um, ballet and seeing it yeah. just because it's so beautiful and graceful and then you got to see it like up you got a, a, your own private private show by Misty Copeland every yeah. day that's cool yeah that was really cool it was one of my favorite scenes to film because I really I just I just got to sit there and watch Misty Copeland perform which was so cool she's unbelievable isn't she like she what is. she can do it, it's unbelievable and she is just the kindest person Aww, i'm so glad they cast her in this i was Me like too. that is such a cool <laughs> let's talk about the cast because you didn't do too bad for a lineup of co-stars you got kira knightley morgan freeman playing your godfather which i just i'm like i want him to be my godfather so you got to at least live out my dream in that one and then dame helen mirren yeah it what crazy it was so much fun it was really cool to just be able to talk to them and get to know them and amidst this massive world that mm. the, the crew created and just hang out and do our thing. It was Did amazing. anything surprise you about Morgan Freeman? He's really tall. <laughs> He's <laughs> actually <laughs> very tall. <laughs> he is very tall yeah. and he really does have the best most iconic voice in the world so I feel like every time he's doing these lines to you it would for me it would be hard to concentrate I feel like I'd just be so it was pretty cool captivated it was pretty cool to, to just listen to like real life Morgan Freeman voice it was it was pretty fun you've been in this business for a while for somebody your age but do you get nervous working alongside these big heavy like Hollywood heavyweights or well for me it's more we're all actors and we're all here to do our thing yeah. and so I see you you see me and let's do our thing I love it you don't get intimidated or anything no. that's awesome good for you <laughs> I know you. that uh, you're born and raised in LA so yes. how did you go about developing the British accent did you have to get lessons what did you do I I could already do it by myself just because I really like accents and I'm always practicing and playing with oh, them of course and then while we were filming I did have a dialect coach to help me stay consistent with it and uh -huh. also to do some of the different like British speech patterns and that kind of stuff stuff okay. that I wouldn't know just because I don't have that accent okay gosh yeah. you were so it was so believable Thank I you. honestly <laughs> for a second thought that you'd been British the whole time and had played in America before I was so oh. confused so good job Thank you. what are some of the other accents you're good at Ooh, I feel like I can do a good Irish, but Ooh, I'm not that's sure. So hard. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay. Yeah. My Irish always goes on like I sound Indian. Like I can't seem to get, oh. which is very different. Yeah. So yeah, that's I'm obviously terrible. How's your Australian accent? My Australian? I've never attempted one, actually. Hmm. I feel like now because I've done British so much, I might start to sound British. There you go. But I don't know. I'll have to practice. Next time it. I see you, maybe you have yeah. that one down pat um <laughs> you've also been made into a doll which i think this has got to be yeah. life goals right here you it's have awesome. your own doll yeah it's pretty crazy and she lights up which is awesome of course she does <laughs> like I, this has got to be a dream come true that all these little girls are gonna have these at home and be playing yeah. with them it's kind of crazy especially you know i had you know barbie dolls when i was little and so it's it's kind of crazy and look your face is on the box i mean this is yeah. and on the back 
This is so cool. And they can dress you up and do all that. How many of these do you have? Of these? Yeah. I actually don't have any at the moment. What do you mean you don't have one? I don't have one at the moment. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to, but I'm going to give this to you because I feel like you should have your own doll. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Thank <laughs> that you. that is so cool. Um, what else have you got in the works? Any other projects you can tell us about? Um, I have my eye on a couple of things, but I'm okay. also, I'm in my senior year, so I'm focusing on studying Good and finishing girl. it up, which I I'm excited about. that. That must be, while you're filming, are you, do you have a tutor on set? Like, how do you do that? Yes, so while we're on set, you always have to have a uh, tutor if you're in the school year, and I mm. do three hours, three to five hours a day. Good for you. That's amazing. Do yeah. you want to further studies after, or acting is going to be your full time? Um, acting, definitely, and I also want to start directing. Of course. I love that we need more female directors. This yes. is awesome. <laughs> All right, we've got a little holiday quiz for you. Okay. So first thing that comes to mind when I ask you these questions what is your favorite holiday tradition? My favorite holiday tradition, baking cookies with my family on Christmas Eve. What kind of cookies? Uh, usually sugar cookies. Oh, they're so good. Favorite gift you've ever received? Favorite gift I've ever received? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I had this little necklace that's really, really beautiful, and I have a couple of rings that are very meaningful to me. Jewelry. It's always a good one. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's sentimental. Yes. Um, favorite holiday food or dessert? Ooh, hot chocolate during Christmas time mm. and in the fall, apple pie. Oh, yum. Good choices. Um, other than the nut Nutcracker, of course, favorite holiday song or carol? Ooh, um, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> do you do caroling at all? At I've song? never done it before. No. no, I don't know. I don't know how can it you would sing? go. I feel she can. She can sing. <laughs> of course she can. <laughs> what is your favorite part of the Nutcracker? Of the ballet or of the film? Ooh. Let's say, let's say the film. The film? My favorite part is the costumes. Ooh. Because they're absolutely stunning. Even though they must have been a lot to get in and out of, though? Because I feel like there's a, there's a lot happening. It, it did take a minute to get, you know, laced and buttoned and sewed in. But, yeah, they're, they're really cool. And there's a lot of layers and a lot of time went into them. Yeah, so they look really very fun. intricate. Like yes, gorgeous. very, very intricate. I love it. Well, congratulations. Thank I can't wait you. to see the finished film. I'm so excited. I only Thank saw you. a piece of it. And you were, you were incredible. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Be sure to watch Mackenzie in the Nutcracker and the Four Realms in theaters November 2nd. Very nice.